Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. Almost all the area's hospitals have received the COVID vaccine now. The only one left is Trumbull Regional Medical Center in Warren, and it's expecting the vaccine next week. Mercy Health came in this morning, and then a news conference was held this evening. Healthcare providers will get it first. The rest of us, that still hasn't been decided. The vaccine arrives and is being administered in Youngstown. It's our top story at 11. That's Dr. John Llewellyn on the left, president of Mercy Health Operations around Youngstown, today getting the COVID vaccine from Chief Clinical Officer, Dr. James Kravick. And this is a, a, a milestone day for uh, the Mahoning Valley, uh, for Ohio, and specifically for, for us here at Mercy Health Youngstown. I think as we, as we stood there today uh, watching this play out in real time, what struck all of us was this remarkable sense of optimism that existed amongst the staff Around 400 Mercy Health employees received the vaccine today at St. Elizabeth Hospital in Youngstown. Among them was nursing manager Sharice Mashiska. Today we made history. This is a first, and um, I am very proud that I was able to receive this vaccine. 4,800 doses of the Moderna vaccine arrived around 11 a.m. by way of a U-Save rental truck. They were immediately unpacked and the shots started. That there is light and we are coming to an end and there's things we have to do to get to that end, but at least we are getting there. And I think today is a huge step. It's not just a step, it is a leap forward for everybody. The vaccine is not mandatory for Mercy Health employees, though it is highly recommended. And though some people have refused it, there haven't been many. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that there's almost everyone has been so positive about this. I, I expected more people to say, well, I'm not sure. Let me think more about it. The Moderna vaccine takes two doses. As people were finishing up today, their appointments were being made for the second dose.